All right, so before we can do anything or run any, any PHP files, we need to have some kind of uh, Apache server along with PHP and MySQL installed. Um, you can use something like um, any kind of shared hosting, HostGator, GoDaddy, uh, any of those uh, will, will suffice. But if you want full control and you actually want to run it on your own local host, you can download uh, software called XAMPP, which allows you to run Apache, PHP, uh, and MySQL all on your local machine. And it's really easy to install and use. So that's what we're going to do. So you want to go to apachefriends.org. All right. And I'm on a Windows system, but you can also install it for Linux and Apple. All right. Uh, let's download this. I actually already have it download downloaded uh, it's it's quite a big file it's 125 megabytes uh, so it'll take you a few minutes to download um, I'm just gonna stop this because I already have it and then you're just gonna basically just install it like any other Windows program it has its own installer I'm on a Windows 32-bit uh, system so we're just gonna go through this real quick. Um, as far as the customization, I'm going to leave everything. Actually, I'm going to get rid of FileZilla, the mail server, Tomcat, um, and Webalizer, and fake send mail. We don't need this stuff. All right, basically what we want is Apache, MySQL, and PHP. I'll leave Perl and we do want PHP my admin because that's going to give us a program to manage our databases. I'm just going to install it in the default C drive. Can close that out. Okay, so we'll start the installation. Uh, it could take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause the video and come back after this is done. All right, so that took about four or five minutes. Um, everything's complete, and it's asking if we want to run the control panel now. So I'm going to keep that checked. So you can manually start and stop Apache and MySQL from this panel. But what we want to do is we want to uh, first install this as a service. And you can see that uh, next to these, if I try to check this service box, it doesn't check. And that's because we need to run this. Um, we need to run this with an administrator account. All right, so we need to exit it completely. So you want to go down to the icon and go to quit, and then we want to go to the XAMPP directory. Um, where is it? XAMPP, and then down at the bottom here you see this XAMP control so we're gonna uh, right click that and do run as administrator and now you can see that the service boxes we can check these alright so now uh, when you start Windows or whatever operating system you use it'll they'll automatically start and run in the background and there's not much you need to do but we do need to start them right now so you just want to click start All right, so basically um, we have a web server. And if we go back to the XAMPP directory, and you'll see this folder called htdocs. This is gonna be your basically your public HTML um, folder. And this is where you can add PHP files, you can run PHP files, uh, HTML, whatever. Um, basically this folder acts just like your HostGator or whatever uh, hosting company account. All right, so we can actually test this in the browser. We can go to HTTP localhost. All right, so basically uh, we have a default page here, which is just an XAMPP splash page. Uh, it automatically redirects here when you go to localhost. And there's just uh, a couple things that we want to look at. So you want to choose your language here. All right, and what I want to do is Right now we have a PHP, I'm sorry, we have a MySQL database and we can, we can um, 
manage it with a program called PHP My Admin. Um, and by default, there's there's the root user with no password. And since we are on a local machine, uh, it's not that important. But if you were running this um, remotely, you would want to set that. So let's go ahead and go to. I think it's under security. And we have let's see PHP. All right here, the MySQL admin user root has no password and we can fix that if we click on this link okay we're just gonna put a password in here and that should be good let's click this button okay so it says the root password was successfully changed please restart MySQL okay so to restart it we can go to the panel just do a start and stop or stop and start. All right, and just to make sure localhost still works. All right, now just to show you what we can do here, um, you basically want to, if you're going to be doing a lot of development on your local machine, you want to create different folders and work from there. All right, so let's create a folder called, um, uh, I don't know, we'll just say test. All right, and then in there we can put in, we can create a new PHP file, and I'm sure that a lot of you already know this. Um, this is basically just for the people that um, you know PHP beginners. Okay, so index PHP is going to work just like index HTML. It's going to be the default file. So let's just put some PHP in here. We'll just echo out. So I'll save that and then if we go to localhost slash test. Oh, all right. So if you're using Windows uh, by default, it's going to save this as a as dot txt. Okay, it's going to use this txt extension. Um, so we need to get rid of that and from here, from in Windows Explorer, you can't see that TXT. All right, so we need to change a setting here. If we go to Organize, uh, Folder, and Search Options, and we go under View, uh, where is it? So we have this checked by default, this Hide Extensions for Known File Types. We want to uncheck that and click Apply. So now we can see the TXT and we can get rid of it. Okay, so now if we reload localhost slash test, we get our peach our index.php file. So we're all set to start programming PHP. And like I said, I know a lot of you probably already know this, learned it a long time ago, um, but I just wanted to make a video for the beginners, and I also needed to uh, create this environment to work in anyway. So thanks, and I will see you in the next video.